Yeah. Okay. Hi guys. Okay, we are excited to share with you our well I guess Annabelle's not excited. We're excited to share with you our beginnings of our bug hotel. So for e-learning this week, one of the options were to build a bug hotel. And we just thought it would be fun to show you how we're gonna build it, okay? So you can grab any container you want. We're gonna use a, a tin pot. You can use a coffee mug, you can use a bucket. AB wanted to use this plastic bucket. But we decided we wanted something a little bit bigger. So kids, go around your house, see what's something that your parents are not using anymore, and see if you can turn it into a bug hotel. Video. We love bug hotels because whenever we find a bug and we observe it and we check it out, you never want to keep it in your house forever. You want to put it back into somewhere natural. Well, we love to put it in a um, an area where we can always come back and visit it and we want to give it a good habitat so different bugs and different crawly things It's really creepy crawly things because we're even going to make a spot for Worms, okay, so what do worms love everybody? Dirt. They love dirt. dirt. Okay, dirt, so dirt, dirt. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna keep it on its side All right, so the first layer is gonna be dirt. Hopefully you guys can see this. Abby, can you grab your dirt? Now Abby was in charge of collecting the dirt Maddie helped him because they had to finagle a, um, use a shovel because our grass, our dirt is kind of, um, dry lately. Ooh, did you bring water to add to the soil? Mm -hmm. Or just to drink? Water and the soil. Okay. All right, we ready? Okay, so we're going to add the bottom layer is going to be the dirt for worms, slugs, um, whirly gigs, like all the things that creepy crawly. So my class, anything that we would find like under the boards in the woods, this is what's gonna live here. Okay, ready? So go ahead and fill it up right here. Amy, can you wanna you wanna help? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna fill up the bottom layer, oh. and you can put some outside of it too. Okay. So let's show them how to. So we're just gonna do a bottom layer of dirt. Dirt made my lunch. I love that song. Who's been listening to dirt? Um, Ate my lunch by the banana string band. Banana slug sling spring. Mm -hmm. Banana slug band. Something like that. Okay, so we have the dirt. All right. And then the next thing, so Annabelle, tell them what you were in charge of. I was in charge of cutting, cutting kind of dirt. The grass and the grass, right? The grass so we're going to add some grass clippings. So another fine motor activity, which is great, is give them a pair of kid scissors and go let them cut the grass. All right, so there's that. You want to put that? What can, Annabelle, you want to put that in since it was yours? Okay, so she's going to put some grass clippings. This is going to be great because it's going to decompose, going to give some nutrients to the soil, and it's going to be a great place for things to crawl and hide. Okay, so we have the grass. Now there's no real rhyme or reason. You can do whatever layers you want, whatever you think. So these are what we just came up as a, as a family, okay? And then next up, what do you think Maddie should go next? Sticks? Okay, let's throw some sticks in, and I like to line it up nicely. And they can stick out, it can be however you want. But it'll give it some, some layering. There you go. Okay, do we have any more? And then you can always add to it. So if you find other things that you want, you can add to it as you go. It can be a, an expanding hotel. Yeah, so A.B. wants to put a little bit more dirt in it. Oh, will you get my LaCroix? So let's go ahead and let's layer a little more dirt. I think that's a great idea, Abe. Okay, ready, Abe? Oh, it's going to be our first... Is that bee? It's going to be our first visitor to our hotel. Okay, ready? Give me some more dirt, bud. Mommy, is it a bee? I think it was. It was looking for some flowers to pollinate. It didn't have Hello, a stinger. spring. It didn't have a stinger. It didn't? Okay, so we're gonna put some more dirt. Could, Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Fly? Oh, it could be. We'll have to look it up. Parents, it's okay not to know the answers. You just go up and look, look it up. So I Google's great. Okay, so we have dirt, we have grass, okay, we have sticks. Fly. What do you guys think next? Should we do bricks or should we do? I think we should do a little more grass. Pine cones. So the other options we have is we have old bricks, great holes for the creepy crawlers to climb through. Come on, what are they talking We have sweet gum tree. Seeds. Um, our Emma from last year, she calls these the coronavirus seeds. So, you know, get it? Oh, nature. They hurt when you walk on them, but they're really fun. And so, we're going to add some of those to the hotel. Did you step on them, Maddie? Is that why you? So, we're going to add some, some sweet gum tree seeds. Give it some texture. I think we need to add some more grass. Okay, they want to add some more grass. It's not going to be pretty. 
but it's going to be useful. All right, can we do some bricks before we run out of room? Sure. You might have wanted to add your bricks first. You might want to add your bricks be after. Pine cones are also great. Look at all these crevices for the to, for the bees to um or for the bugs and creepy crawlies to. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Thanks, Annabelle. Uh, yeah. All right, look at it. What do you guys think? Doesn't that look great? So we can add it as we go. And it will decompose, and you can always add more things, too. So you can buy bug hotels on Amazon. You can buy anything on Amazon. But they are way more fun to make. And there's no right way. Think about where you find bugs and think about how you can recreate this. And so parents, once your kids see the bugs, celebrate them. That's so exciting. And then you can say, hey, why don't we cope with that in the bug hotel? And then we can visit it later. Awesome. So it keeps our bugs alive. And it gives us a, a fun place to observe. Oh, but she wants to add a little water. Why not? All right. So we're going to set this next to our shed. But just not too much water. Not too much water. I don't want to flood out, flood out the, the worms and insects, right? We're not going to call this our bug hotel. We're going to call it our creepy crawler something because we, we really want worms to be in there too. So our kids will be adding worms and spiders and Creepy all crawling. kinds of insects. And so talk about it with your kids. What's the difference between a spider? Count the legs when you see it. Um, in our Google Classroom, check out the beetle ID, the bug ID, um, and then you can ID it before you put it in its home. Um, all right, so have fun with your Creepy Crawly condominium. Creepy Crawly, um, Creepy Crawly, Mo motel. Motel. We're high motel. end here. All right, so please put a picture and send it to me and let me know what your bug hotel or your creepy crawly condo looks like. And happy learning. Go get outside. And this is your, uh, what's it called again? Creepy crawly condominium? No. Um, e learning. This is still your e learning. Happy e learning. Bye.